What up, mother truckers? I got Big Strug in the building. Uh, we got, you know, Kale Show is a motherfucking bartender. You already know. And where the fuck is Dave? Dave is actually here. Dave's here, man. Nobody knows where Dave's at. I, uh... I pass off Dave as the owner of the store because he actually looks like he's the owner. Yeah. He, I don't look like I look like a punk fucking kid. <laughs> so like fucking when people ask me about the owner and shit, I'm like, oh Dave. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's the best too because when people come up to me, they're like, hey dude, I know the owner really cool. And I'm like, nice. He's yeah. a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> so so everybody, whenever they look for Dave, we're always Cheech and Chong. You know, Dave's not here, man. Yeah. Hey, where's Dave? Dave yeah. ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as shit, yeah. We want to get some shirts from you and say, Dave is finally here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, but you know Dave is in the building when you got some good trees in the building. Hell yeah. Yeah, but yeah, man. Oh, thank you for coming down. Yeah, oh, thanks, little for, thanks for having town, me. Man. It is, it is uh, a hidden gem. It is. I've only been here for a few hours, and it's like, the people are great. The yeah. food is amazing. Dude, the pepper mill, right? <sighs> yes, I love that place. It's amazing. I might go back later just to try four more things. I will. The menu. Yeah. yeah, dude, I get them. I just tell them, like, hey, freestyle some shit. Give me like six things off the menu yeah. that I've never had before. Yeah. And as many times I've been in there, they know my name. Yeah. Like how my daughter works there now. Yeah. So I, they know what I like and what I, I'm like. I just walk in, I'm like, hey, I want something strong and something to eat. And yeah. She's like, got you. Hook it up. I got good drinks, good food. It's great. Everybody around here waves at you. Yeah. Everybody around here is just super fucking nice. Um, and dude, we got the best pot around. Yeah. That's the best. That's what yeah. I've heard. Yeah. I'll, I'll be coming to try it out in 2025. I like your style. I'll be mayor here. Yeah. 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 I'll be the mayor in 2025. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I even told I'll, the mayor now I'll, that I'm going to be. Yeah. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, so I, look, so so our biggest thing now is, um, and that was one of the things I want to talk to you about. So um, having our style of life uh, going up, I mean, a lot of the things that I've always been a part of was just selling dope and making money that was my i'm hustling i'm part of the street life this is what it is yeah. you know and and whether you're in sacramento california or oakland or nashville or memphis it's all the same when you're in a melting pot 100 you know so as we grow up i don't think of i mean i'm small so i know i'm not going to the nfl i know i'm not playing no sports yeah so if i ever want to do anything with my life and i have a little bit of intelligence most of the time so i'm like if i want to do anything i have to sell dope i have to get where these people around me are selling dope. Because, I mean, me, I looked up to my dad and my stepdad and the people who were around me. They sold dope. Yeah. So, and they had the nice cars, they had the whips, and they were the ones showing me the ropes. So, For sure. if I'm thinking to myself, nowadays it's different, right? Yeah. I, nowadays, I'm like, bro, if you if you got dope around me, I'm kicking your ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing, bro? Yeah. And, you know, and I would sell everything. It didn't matter what you did. You yeah. know, I, I was used to crackheads at 3 o'clock in the morning, tweakers at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm waking up just so I could weigh them up couple fucking tents so I can bust that 30 you know what I'm saying so nowadays as I'm growing up and now I'm getting to this different picture different avenue right I'm trying to I'm trying to be that 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 guy that I wave at people when I'm driving down the street you yeah. know and I want to be that nah, guy growing that, up. Yeah. Growing so up. so our huge thing that we do is we already get paycheck through the military you know we yeah. do our time so we get a little check so the profits that we make through our store we go and put them into the schools we go and put them into as like you know we different outlaws you yeah. know but i fucking hate the police and i've never liked the cops or system or anything like that so we but what i think that that is is ignorance yeah and it's not the fact that i hate the police anymore it's the fact that we need them yeah. but i hate ignorant cops yeah i hate the ones that don't know what the fuck reality is and yeah. like if you grew up in my shoes you'd understand that me firing up a joint or having a drink is the least that you need to fucking worry yeah, about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, look, if you see me having a drink, relax, because I'm relaxing. You yeah. know? You didn't catch me 15 years ago when you probably should have pulled up on me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So we, you know, we put money into education for police. Yeah. You know, we want them to learn some shit, you yeah. know, because they don't get paid enough because uh-huh. they hire people that are idiots a lot of the time, yeah. just like any other fucking job that pays 30 grand a year. Mm-hmm. You know, so... We want to put it into the schools and we put it into the thing. And we want to build our community to be a better structured community. Yeah. And, you know, and it, we probably have an unorthodox way of doing it, but yeah. I'm 35 great things now, are done. I just want to be grown, you know? Yeah. So I think it's a lot different. All great things in history were done unorthodox. Yeah. I think it always takes a person jumping out the window. 100%. So here's my question. So as you matured, and a lot of my fans will know this, a lot of people will know this. You know, we were talking about back in the day with Braves. Yeah. Right? As you go through your music, for when you started, that mindset to where you're at now with your music and you're going to writing, when you think about influence, where does your mind go? Well, automatically, I know what my responsibility is. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know what... Um, 
I know what all of the things that I used to rap about, I know where that got me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to ever be a part of that. Uh, or that's not what my story is. My story is, hey, look, I did this. I'm not glorifying it. We had some fun. We did some yeah. crazy shit. Did our time. We grew up. This is what we learned from it. A lot of us didn't make it out. Yeah. You know, a lot of us either in prison for hundreds of years or dead. Yep. So the odds aren't great that you're going to make it out of that lifestyle, mm-hmm. but you can if you, you know, change your life now. So a lot of my music is about change yes. and about the transformations that I went through, uh, the changes that I had to make to be who I was. You know, when I was sitting in prison, I was watching my whole world crumble around me. Yeah, you know, my helpless, could do nothing. Nothing. I, but I realized I was like the guy who I was. I was in control of everything. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, selling dope. And, all the different people who were employees and this spot and that spot this side of town this you know yeah, I was in control I was, and I was in control in there I'm watching my whole world in this empire that I thought I had uh, built just crumbling and I realized the only thing I have control of is me and who I become and how I come out of these gates yep. and that's going to dictate my kids are getting drugged through the mud right now at that time they're going to foster care so everything that I do inside here internally with myself is going to dictate. I can't do nothing about these five years except make the best out of them. Yeah. But the next twenty years, you Thanks. know what I mean? Yeah. That's it. But what I do with these five years is going to dictate how the next twenty go. Yeah. And I just hit the ground running. I took every class, you know. I did a lot of soul searching. Read a whole lot of books. Lost 150 pounds. Lost a lot of friends, I'd imagine. Lost lost a lot of friends. Well, they all came back now that I'm successful, right? Yeah, of course. Of course, <laughs> yeah, a, yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things, they're like, <laughs> oh, bro, you forgot about us. I was like, hey, I think you were the first one to forget about me. <laughs> right? Because when it was, I took care of you, and then when it was my turn for you to take care of me, you were nowhere to be found. Yeah. And now I'm doing good. You now I'm Hollywood. You take care of my girl, motherfucker. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm Hollywood, because, yeah. uh, you know. No, no. See, I don't. I don't ever say that I changed. I just say I grew the fuck up. Yeah, that, well, that's you know what, what it is. Because it's not really even. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're supposed to elevate. You're supposed to gain knowledge. Yeah. If you're the same dumb motherfucker you were when you were 20 as you are 35, 38, you, you you're like fucked anything. up. Yeah. Everything that's happened up. is vain. In, in vain. Yes. Every friend that you lost, every day you did in jail or prison, all of that was in vain. If you look back 15 years later and you ain't fucking learned anything. Yep, that's true. Yeah. So I, I was sitting in Hardeman County. And I think I was 23 and I was already there for like a year and a half and they denied me on my parole and I didn't even know I was going up for fucking parole. They had a safety yeah. valve. I was like, dude, I yeah. was wilding out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I thought I had three more years and they slid the shit up under my door. So, And I walk out there. I was in there with Big G. He was my celly. Yeah. And um, he had 300 something years. So when I first got my parole paperwork, I didn't know nothing about it. So I showed him. You know, he never talked to me about his time. So yeah. I was like, uh, what's this mean? He said, what the fuck? I don't know. I yeah. got 300 plus. I ain't never seen them. You know, so... <laughs> yeah. So I went out there and I talked to my counselor and I said, well, if I'm in here, it, this is hell. Every person in here that I talked to has got 60, 70 years. They ain't going nowhere. Yeah. This, all they're doing is game banging and wondering where the pack's coming in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the lady sitting across just got kicked out for bringing two bottles of Hennessy in for her boyfriend that's my neighbor. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like. What am I supposed to learn here? I got corrections going down the side of me. Yeah. But where's the correction? Where the fuck? What am I supposed to learn here? Like, yeah. but the biggest thing is, is it's on you. It is. It's on you. And that's what she said. She said, you're supposed to learn from yourself. Yeah. You want to be here? You better do some soul searching. You got to figure out where your life is at. Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Because I don't know who you are. I could, I could tell you by your number. Yeah. But other than that, you ain't shit. So you just got to be the person that you're going to be. Ah, Boston in the motherfucking field. Man, I, man, I, ah. hit, I hit every 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 turn I could again. Yeah, I figured once we started, he'd show up. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! No, that's what's up though. So that was always, you know, it's 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 definitely it's always gonna be on you. No matter yeah. what you got, what you're gonna do, it's gonna be on you. Yeah. So what's next for you? I know you got some big things coming up. Man, a little bit of everything. Yeah, uh, just launching my new cigars. Got cigars. Oh yeah. Where are they made from? Uh, from they're wrapped in Dominican are Republic. They? Yep. Um, okay. The, the, we got a blend from uh, Nicaragua, a blend from Ecuador, and I'm actually going back. I got a lot of my family from Hartsville, Tennessee, so I'm getting it. All t- they grew up on tobacco farms. Yeah. yeah. So getting some of that to do a hometown blend as well. Almost all Tennessee's tobacco farms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then 
But yeah, West we Tennessee's got, got a lot of like nice Carlo ones. ones and shit too. Yeah, I'll send some to you. Hell uh, yeah. And then you know I've got uh, my album Monte Carlo drops next month. Yeah. Uh, I got another album El Camino dropping in July. I strike out on a May tour, the Monte Carlo tour. Then July I got the 60 Dates with Jelly. Yeah, that's gonna be sick right there. Uh, yeah, I think that Monte Carlo shit gonna be dope as fuck. Hell yeah. Why don't you come out with some liquor lines? Well, I've been working on it. I was yeah, doing. Yeah. I've been doing a tequila for tequila? four years. Yeah. Yeah. And taste testing it, taste testing it, taste testing it. We got the Reposado right, got the Nejo right. Blanco kept coming back peppery. Uh, found some guys who have got an amazing tequila. So good. They've already went through all the steps. Yeah. So I'll start posting out. I'm not going to speak too much on it until we lock in the, the investment and the paperwork, but it's amazing. I'm not put it up with Casamigos. You know, I drink nothing but Casamigos, but <laughs> I'll put it right there. So, right so where's your mindset when it comes to alcohol in opposed to cannabis? Uh, cannabis is probably way better for you. Well, yeah. <laughs> Generally, right. yeah. It that's doesn't ruin sure. your liquor that's and your liver. Sure. Uh, but like okay so you can't smoke i can't know. smoke i'm on parole That's exactly all I, got. all I got right so <laughs> i mean if they allowed you to smoke would you drink less well 100 i probably wouldn't drink you wouldn't drink at all probably not maybe huh. once every once in a while like uh, a gentleman's drink yeah that's what that's what i'm trying to like tone myself to is gentleman's drink so yeah like, i've been doing pretty good yeah uh the reason you see me drinking right now like i'm drinking is because that's uh 420 y'all are smoking i can't smoke we find the fuck up for one for two i've been in <laughs> la for eight days Hell so yeah. hey la okay. gonna make you drink no more <laughs> hey with all due respect and everybody in it fuck la i'm from sacramento I'm yeah. to say that. <laughs> God. the first place i ever went to la right when i walked in there they had meth pipes right and i was tripping because i was like y'all got crackheads outside but meth pipes inside yeah y'all got this shit fucked up yeah I didn't start those little roses in the yeah. You better off. Yeah. The Brillo next to yeah, it. Yeah, the Brillo. Yeah. Yeah. No, LA cool is just hell nah. Well, I stay up. I stay up towards uh, Hollywood, West Hollywood. The studios up in Studio City mm-hmm. that I was recording at, and uh, so I kind of stay in that West Hollywood right there. That one little strip, Sunset Boulevard. Yeah. When I go up there, because then I'm, you know, I can go anywhere I need to go, but it's still just cool and chill. Yeah. Is it less with security in LA, or is it more? I don't take any security anywhere. No. No. See, I'd be freaked the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, I have a hard time sometimes. I'm not even a fucking celebrity, but I'll go to certain places and people jump out and you be like, hey, uh, let me talk to you about this. I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, shit, Holy yeah shit. I mean, well, I, I have, you know, I have people that are around me most of the time that are armed or whatever, you know, yeah. doing doing their own thing. I don't know anything about it, but uh, the laws in Cali. The, the laws in Cali are fucked. Yeah, so that's yeah. like. But see, like with laws, whenever they heighten up laws, they're only taking that away from good citizens. For sure. Yeah, the outlaws are the ones that are going to still carry. Yeah, so my biggest thing is... Yeah, so my security can't fly in with it to protect me. Yeah, but don't you have other... They, they, they should have like some type of sources and stuff. Yeah, like do. once you get yeah, a touchdown, yeah, yeah. they should automatically, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. Like when I touch Sacramento, I, I'd let my people know before I get there. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even like anything crazy. It's just for the simple fact that... It's fucking Sacramento. People yeah. will shoot you over fucking, you know, speeding up on them too fast. And you're in, you're in tunnel vision. You ain't paying attention to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then my sister got killed on the road. You know, driving. You know, so like, like it's just Sacramento. People are people. Nashville's yeah. the same fucking way. You know what I'm saying? People getting shot left and right. That shit would freak me out. You know what I'm saying? Especially going into new places, new areas that you don't know that you haven't been. Areas yeah. like that. Hell, come up here. It's probably like this up here. How many artists you worked out in Cali with? Um... Psycho Realm, DJ Psycho Mugs Realm. and Sick Jack and all them. Okay, so I, I yeah, don't even know. Yeah, DJ yeah, Mugs is his, DJ Mugs is from Cypress Hill, right? No, DJ Mugs. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I've been so out of the loop. I got the, the whole decades where everything I listened to was off a of chip. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, it was hard sure. to catch up on some new shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is yeah, this is like super old shit. Well, I know. I I will say this. Uh, when I first got out here. Um, I didn't know who 3-6 was. Um, Jelly was the first person I met off the plane. Wow. Right? And, like, legit, when I come down the thing, he was picking up his chick that flew in from Denver, and she rode with me. Wow. So, like, I met him. I was with my two little ones. They were the first person. I was a bo So, uh, yeah. and I only knew him because of Haystack. Yeah. And I, I've heard of Haystack because we had Dimple Records. Yeah. So, Dimple Records was his shit. So, you'd walk in there, and you'd be like, oh, 
south. Cool. And you can flip through, and you be like, yeah. oh, gambling on a white boy. What the fuck is that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, Dimple Records had all that, you know, and you can go pull through and grab those. So, that's how I heard of Haystack and shit. Yeah. And then heard of him. So, then um, I linked up with my homeboy Raz, and, you know, he's from Memphis. So, that he he put me on A Ball and MJG and 360 yeah, Mafia. They didn't come? Huh? No. No. They didn't even pull up. They hit me up this morning was like, hey, we have problems with travel, this and that. They hit me up to be a part of it. Yeah. I was like, y'all motherfuckers shouldn't have ever said anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all reached out to me. Nah, I was excited. Dude, I was super excited. Hell yeah, I've like, never met them. Yeah. I don't know who they are. I met Ball once. That's the only one I've met. Yeah? When I, I Actually, he's the first person, one of the first people to hear Outlaw shit. No shit. Because I was in Atlanta. Me and Wolf had just recorded it. He no was shit. in the studio with Yellow Wolf. Mm-hmm. Um, at Tree Sound, and we played it for him. The dude that was in the video at the very beginning with the long hair, he got the gold teeth. His name was AJ. Yeah, I was I was on the conference. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, he was in the set next to me. Yeah, he was in the uh, eight. He's out. Now. He's out. He's Is out. He got all the shit overturned. Yeah. Yep. He's got some bad medical issues, don't he? I don't know. Uh, that's what he. That's what he said. That's what they all said. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I don't uh, know him too much. You know, it's, everybody's different. Yeah, you everybody's know, he, he was he was my homie, and yeah. then uh, you know when I went to prison, he got with my wife, mm. flipped the car, and my kids in it. So I had like a lot of animosity. Like when he hit Northeast Compound, my guys were trying to push. They were like, "Oh no, we gotta have his ass." Oh, he stayed in the back. Yeah, and well, I was like, seven, which is basically the back. But I was like, you know, no, nah, you know what? Instead, I'm gonna send two TVs and a bunch of clothes down there and a bunch of food and tell him to fuck himself. You know. That's how I did it. Yeah. Now nah, I'd have homeboys beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to beat his ass. That was a problem. They didn't want to beat his ass. Oh, they I know. Take it there. Hey, they operate different nowadays yeah. too. Uh, Man, it's just... <laughs> yeah. The last time, last time AJ hit me up for money, he hit me up with a sob story, and uh, I don't care if you put this on there. <laughs> and I sent him four hundred twenty-four dollars. Damn. Hit what was that for? Four death before dishonor. Oh shit. <laughs> hit him with four two four and the, on his the cash app. That's fucking hilarious. But you know, I, I have no hard feelings for him. It's just, you know, once you cross that line, I don't have no space in my life for you anymore. Nah, hell no. It's like no hard feelings. I'm past all that. I, I don't let the sun set on my anger. There's not a single person in this world that I'm mad at or got any kind of beef with. Yep. It's just if you showed your colors, I ain't fucking with you. Period. You know, it ain't honestly. just be one incident. Yeah, it ain't got to be, you know. don't even have to be who you are, I guess. Yeah. But. That's cool. I'm going to keep pushing. Yeah, no. So, like, I wish him the best, you know. I applauded him when he got out. He yeah, had 30-something yeah. 30, 30 years. Like, man, hallelujah, bro. Get back yeah. to life, yeah. you know. See, I, I always figured that he was touching down. I think I met him, it was Well, they hit him with They hit him with all them consecutives, right, because he caught, like, his charge, I don't think it was a quarter ounce of dope altogether. Yeah, it was like It was like .7. Did they school Make on bond. Him? Yeah. Make bond. Get caught with an eight ball, make bond. You know, it was like a bunch of little things, but he had made bond on every one of them. My homie got 24 for so that they, shit. They slid them all together. Yeah. Like four eights or something. Yeah. Yeah. My homie got like, uh, like nine fours. That's crazy. Or some shit. And then he got, no, he got seven threes. It was yeah. crack. They gave him three yeah. years <laughs> and it was all the same one, right? But he used to always tell me, yeah, I got 21 on a kilo. Right? The yeah. Timesheet Tuesday came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, everybody in the wall. Timesheet Tuesday is there. So, so we're out here on the block showing everybody. You got the best man. Yeah, 4.9. You're 7.7. I didn't the money is. Kingpin, motherfucker. Like, yeah, you got seven threes. And then he had a three for the pistol. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I bet that pistol was dirty as fuck. Yeah. And that motherfucker was rusting it. Couldn't cock back. Yeah. You know, that motherfucker was grimy. No serial numbers. You know it was a high point. Yeah. <laughs> With Jennings. Yeah, yeah, fucking right. I was no, no even talk to me. The high point, 380. I think that was my first gun. What was my second? It was the first gun I bought. Yeah. Probably as a teenager. You know, I bought a $50 Tech 9. Well, my first gun I stole, of course. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then, yeah, my, my first gun that I ever bought was a, uh, it was a high point. It was a Lorsen. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not like you had sand in it when you got it. <laughs> I never had a high point. I never yeah, had a high point. I don't think I had a high point. So, I, think, so I, I was thinking the Lorsen 380. Hell, I mean, I'm always high at one point, but I never <laughs> had a high point. Yeah. You know? No, that shit's way too funny. Uh, it's crazy being a gun fanatic. Being a felon, so I can't have guns. Being around in the South, 
Yeah. The South, South California, there's gun laws. So yeah. the only guns you're going to come across some bunk one that came off the boat from Oakland, $75. That's a, never had serial numbers, so yeah. they ain't even scratched off. So And here and in, here, in the South, they're building them. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're well, like you, making them in their garage. We were going to Nashville for the Jeezy and Boosie thing, and Jerry, our fucking GM, he's like, oh, yeah. I'm pulling up. So he pulls up. Now, he, this guy has a license to where he can walk into a federal building armed, but they can't touch him. Yeah. Right. So, so he's my gun guy. So fucking, <laughs> David, <tell you. laughs> this motherfucker, he pulls up. He's got two ARs. He's got some silencers. He's got fucking chops. Yeah. Uh, fucking bulletproof vests already. I'm going to Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> like, the Fuck! Did you hear about Nashville? <laughs> yeah. He's like, where have your stories been? He's like, no, nah, I just do this everywhere. But yeah, that's how everybody is around here. Yeah. No, my, my wife carries. My daughter yeah. carries. Dude, my wife's got a big ass gun. She yeah. shoots the shit out of it. Yeah. Everybody that's everybody that's around me, you know, they, they carry. I can't have them in the house though. So like, my yeah. wife, you know, she'll she'll leave hers at the shop or somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. She can't she can't have it in the house. But we we have a until uh, I come off parole and then you know she can have her own guns in her safe. They say if they're in the safe and you don't know the code. Yeah. That's what I'm told. Yeah. But but if you're on parole, you can't live in the house with one. Yes. They so, say they can't, you can't have, be in the house with another felon. Yeah, well, that's not going to work. Everybody in my family's felons. So. That's what I'm saying. So, well, yeah. I'm good right now. Everybody in my house is like under 18. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, if they're fucking felons, I'm being too mess. Yeah. So, hell no. No, I think that they I think that they need to give back gun rights the same as... Uh, Voting as rights. Voting rights. Should, yeah. Yes. But I also think that they should do death penalty towards pedophiles. Well, you see Florida? Florida yeah. just did it. I know. I fucking love yeah. it. Florida I just fucking did it. love that. Hell yeah. My bonds. Did you see the, the shit that Trump just announced? That, uh, that, that goes for y'all big time. Uh, that he's pushing a bill through right now to where your firearm, your carry permit goes in any state. Doesn't oh, fucking yeah, matter. I see that. I oh, yeah. That would be crazy. Yeah. That would change the game. So you can't, yeah. so you can't uh, carry in another state. No, nah, like Chicago, Illinois is real so bad. Say, California. Like states that I'm not supposed to. I thought yeah. that it was just as long as you abided by their gun rules. Oh no, DC, you're hit. If you have a DC, now, now I don't play in DC. I don't fuck yeah. around. I go to DC all the time. I ride a boat. I don't play. I do not play. Everything you do there is a federal charge. Oh, I know. You go to the feds. I was in the feds. Up. It's 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 why. I, the DC car is the way they are because yeah. it's like it can it's not you get caught with an ounce of yeah. weed and you go on. Yeah. yeah so the feds I've always heard I've never went to feds yeah. I was just stayed a couple times uh, they say that there's only two types of people in the feds those who told and those who wish they did yeah that, they, that's, that's <laughs> what that the guards say nah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I swear yeah, that's, no. what, that's what everyone yeah. tell me. They're that's like, bro, you're going to finish. There's two types of people. Because they give you so many goddamn months. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, they but that's not true. months, too, though. so it doesn't sound bad. Yeah. They're like, oh, 120 months. You're like, damn, that don't sound that bad. You do the math. You're like, fuck you. It's 10 years. Yeah. It's 10 years. <laughs> what do you mean? That's day for day, too. Yep. See, Tennessee used to do X. Yeah. They used to sentence you to X. Yep. Yeah, they took that off a while back. But you get 99X. Yeah. And that means you have to do day for day. So whatever sentence you got with X... See, mine was always 30. Yeah. Except. Mine was too. Yeah, except they hit me one time because I was on bond and I got caught with nine pounds. So they, they gave me uh, multiple offenders. They gave me 35%. Yeah. Yeah, so I had to do a 14 and 35. Yeah, I did a 13 and a half and 30. Yeah. That shit is weak as hell. If I would have knew anything about the safety valve and like, yeah. you know when they, they show you the video of like the Snicker bar on the bed, they're yeah. like, don't touch the Snicker. Yeah. And like, they go over the <laughs> That's whole a real thing. thing. That's a real thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, I tell people that shit all the time. Yeah. Like, um, I don't know if you know Chili Deuce. He's yeah. from Nashville. Yeah. You know yeah. Chili? Yeah. That one. Crazy. <laughs> that one was crazy. That's what I love yeah. that dude. So, it, do a fart. He'd be like, you flirt with me, baby? I got yeah. a Snicker bar. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit was funny as hell. I'll fuck with that dude. Yeah. Uh, he's in Northeast right now. Yeah. Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. But he actually did get 20 on the key. Yeah. 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 They gave him his fucking discovery on a DVD. That was the first time I ever seen that shit. Online. That's wild. Yeah. When you get so it. So big. Like, yeah. When you get it on a DVD. Yeah. And they're like, now nah, you got to go to the library to check your shit. Yeah. You're like, damn. <laughs> how many people told on you? Yeah. Like, my whole packet was this yeah. big. And that was like, because I had hella amendments I was pushing in. Yeah. You know, I was trying to get. Uh, halfway houses, the whole nine. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it, they, Tennessee don't play. No. Nah. They do not play. And they want you to plead deal the fuck out. Yeah. That's the first thing. Best part is most of the time to take it. 
I know, hundred percent. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna take it all the way. You take it all the way to the door, and they're you know, gonna max you, and no. then they'll get you on a technicality. No. Yeah, they, you're not getting past the system. No. They built it. Yeah. If you're in my house, I'm probably gonna win. Yeah. yeah. If you're on my pool table, I'm probably gonna win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know the angles, yeah. so I know where it's fucked up, and I'm not gonna tell you where not to shoot. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, you don't know until you get in. You don't know until you get in that ring. Crazy. Hell no, nobody knew Mike Tyson was a badass until he punched the first motherfucker. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. <laughs> He's still a badass. Yeah, he's still a badass. I, hell yeah, I fight his ass. Yeah. I would in a heartbeat. Hell yeah. How much? Free. Would you? I would do it for free. I guess I would too. Man, I've had my just ass beat by a fucking walk. I'm gonna hit him. Just Mike to say Tyson. I got hit, yeah. Just oh be like, gosh. shit, I fought Mike Tyson. Who, who the fuck are you? Yeah. You're like, oh, okay, you may. I, <laughs> I believe it would suck though. Huh? And I believe I got hands, but oh, dude, that would God. suck. I don't think I'd be able to hit him. I think I got hands, but I don't think I'd be fast enough. Yeah. Unless he plays with me, but you would probably would, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then I probably he might let you catch. Yeah, I probably let him. He might let me catch. Just catch him with that one. Mm-hmm. Because I thought I was fast as fuck to my mom. Yeah. That me. Dude, same, I, I was the only person that's ever beat my ass was my uncle. Yeah. I literally, he was raising me. It's I, the only person not me. I jumped out the car. You ain't my fucking dad, right? Because my dad was dead. He had been raising me. Before I even slammed the door, this motherfucker Patrick Swayze slid across the hood and bow, knocked my ass clean out. Yep. I call mine a punk. Yep. Yeah. I told him where my daddy. And yeah. He's the only person that ever knocked me out. That's the only person that ever knocked me out. And he looked like Bruce Lee's little bitty ass fucking white mechanic who weighs 95 pounds. Oh, no, mine's like 6'5, big ass Confederate uh, yeah. flag on his head, fresh out of San, uh, San yeah. Quentin. Well, at least yours, mine looked like fucking Patrick Swayze. I would rather get knocked out by that. <laughs> yeah. Like, Damn, that boy got hands. You fight him. You know what I'm saying? You, my uncle could probably just bear claw you. Yeah. I don't even know if he could fight. You know? yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're watching the podcast. Man, man, when I beat his ass, oh, shit. I'm whooping yeah. ass. <laughs> no, hell no. Uh, I had a little homeboy named Stacy. He whooped everybody. Yeah. He got killed at the gas station. He was 17. A dumb motherfucker. Nah, Somebody he, that he whooped? Nah. Yeah. He just thought he was cock diesel. He whooped everybody. Yeah. And he was walking in, and he seen this girl. He's like, God damn, baby, what's up? And her man was there, and he was like, who the fuck are you talking to? He said, you bitch, what's up? Shot him. Just lay the fuck down. This is Sacramento. Yeah. So I was like, well, we can't whoop nobody now. Yeah. So I thought I thought I was tough. I got in a fight with a Russian cat. I hit I this dude. hard to fucking fight. <laughs> but I, so he hit It's me. always the smaller guys for me. Yeah. That you, so you can't knock yeah, out. Yeah, he's... I was, I was always fucking small. Boston's and shit. Bullshit. I was always the small one getting knocked out. <laughs> yeah. so that's a lie. I was the small dude. And I got knocked out all the time. No, yeah. no, I never got knocked out besides once, but they whooped my ass. I got um But then again, statistics, right? I guess it because we all fought. Yeah. Like 90% of the people I've gotten in fist fights with, I have on my Facebook. Like yeah. I still know them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, man, man, man time you gave me that black guy with yeah. <laughs> piece of shit. Like you gave me that black lip, yeah, fuck me up. It was funny. But that's that's the majority. It's yeah. cause it's our neighborhood, you know. We yeah. always fought. That's the yeah. fucking shit. They don't do that no more. No, they don't. So I whoop my kids for that so that they could feel like they had a bully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife was joking the other day. She said, No, I think I think it was uh my brother's wife and uh <laughs> she was joking the other day. She's like, he ain't got to worry about bullies in school, huh? He yeah. comes home and gets the worst from it from dad. Because yeah. I go in and I fuck up all the kids. What's yeah. up? Come here. <laughs> and like other neighborhood kids that come in or like their cousins and shit. I'm beating you with yeah. him. You know, yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting them all riled up. 20 bucks, whoever could whoop her. Yeah. Go. <laughs> no, they all just get into it. Yeah. I was like, my fucking, ass. my uncle, my dad now. You, you got to raise him though, man. You, you got, got to. You got to. Because these dudes nowadays are fucking. They're shooting. Us. And they're just shooting for nonsense. Yeah. The first thing they want to do is pull the trigger. They can't They can't just get into a, a fist fight. Yeah. If if me and you get drunk, get into it, we get to fucking fighting the next day, you're alive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm alive. Yeah. I might even hate you for life even, depending on the situation. But you're alive and I'm alive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The situation will never be, well, I'm not going to say never because there's many situations that could be. Yeah. But the situation will never be great enough. 90% for me of the time to, it's not worth it. To sacrifice both of our lives because I'm yeah. going to prison for life. Yeah. Or you're going to prison for life and one of us is dead. Yeah. So that makes no sense whatsoever. I think they should bring back duels. If you really want to kill somebody, if he's been banging your old lady, some stupid shit like that, then it's. It's duel so bad that you're feeling to go kill this man. Duel in the street. Let's do a duel. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. 
I think that they should do that. That would be crazy. I would, I would fully do it. If I had so much hate in my life. Were you an Army Ranger? I was a sapper, yeah. I was yeah, so of yeah. course, yeah. You, so, yeah. You, you know you'd shoot him. So you, I was shit you'd out. win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I probably had like Dave or Jerry a bunch of things. It's like, bro, you, you, you know I'm going to just pull the trigger two seconds before you think I would have. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I think that that would be a lot better yeah. than because you got innocent people. You got people oh, no. coming in and shooting shit, and kids are getting killed. Uh, they just had a rapper here in Virginia. Parents kicked them out. He went in, shot his entire family, and then came out and got in a shootout with the police and got killed by the cops. He's the only one that died that day, but everybody got shot. That's crazy. I'm like, dude, everybody's got wounds. For the rest yeah. of their life, they're going to think of that stupid shit that you did. Yeah. Right? Fuck, they still have five states that fucking do doctor assisted suicides. This motherfucker really hates life going. Go take a pill. Yeah. Fuck, fentanyl's everywhere. Go fucking have some, dude, if you're tired yeah. of it that bad. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, they got people with Nashville. Yeah. That's the worst thing that I've seen all year. And yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, was I, don't, I don't even want to say all year. It, it, well, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? So, but. And they, haven't, they haven't dropped that the manifesto or whatever yet either. No. And I'm, I'm, I don't want to see that because supposedly what I'm hearing from people is that it was about the new laws that were created yeah. in Tennessee. That it was pissed off about the the new drag show laws, mm-hmm. which I agree with. You should be eighteen to go on a fucking drag show. I think so too. If you're, uh, do they have six year olds twerking on stage? Yeah, you can't do it. Don't that like, let wrong. kids grow up and be fucking kids. Let them learn that shit when they learn that shit. Yeah. Don't push it down. Dude, we already car. fuck them up the second they're able to. Get Let media. me raise my kids the way I want to raise mine. Give me that free. Oh, dude, they fucking scrutinize Boosie over there. Yeah. Yeah, he said I don't want to raise my kids this way or that way, and they're like, no, what the fuck? Yeah. Immediately, California, right now. If your kid says that he wants to be a male or be a female, and he has a dick, if you don't chop that fucker off because he wants to be a female, your kids will get picked up by the state. Yeah, I saw, and you'll I saw have to that. pay child support on your kids. While they're in state's custody, Getting so the, that they could get their sex change. And nobody knows what the fuck they really want to do till they're in their thirties. You know what I mean? I didn't like, know how to use my dick until I was in my thirties. Yeah, like you, you have no saying? clue, man. No, you don't. That's true. Hey, hey, first off, <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I had to get. Yeah, no, that's just like, that, that's Kelso laughing because he still don't know how to use his dick. <laughs> you look like a pee all over the damn. <laughs> no, I know it's that he sits down. No. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> I thought we were gonna keep that private, but no, I know. On me, I know. That's cool. You see, we got we got eight GoPros in here. But there's just seven in here. There's one of the. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we were trying to get female celebrities on here. Yeah. So we could finally push play on that one. Yeah. <laughs> We put the whole mirror up in here, and a couple people were trying to pull it off to the side to use it. And I was yeah. like, no, 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 no. You're going to stay in that fucker. Yeah. <laughs> you ever see somebody walking out licking a, like a tray? Yeah. There's a weed tray, bro. It wasn't in the bathroom. Yeah. And you're like, damn. Well, I'm sleeping at night. I don't know about you. Yeah. <laughs> no, we've got some crazy characters in here. We've done podcasts that we didn't even edit, share nothing. We were like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A couple oh, yeah. more drinks, we might have to do that with ours. Uh, get it hey, fuck it, I love it. Nah, I, love yeah, it. I don't give a fuck, man. You know, I'm, I'm at that point in my life, man. It's like, if I say it, I fucking mean it. And I, if I mean it, I'm going to say it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, I believe everybody can have their own opinion. I believe they can, you know, except for touching kids. You don't get an opinion on that, you die. But I think, you know, people can have their own opinions. They can have their own beliefs. Mm-hmm. Just don't infringe on mine. If I want, if, you know, I want to raise my kids a certain way. I want to fucking hold the morals and values and the standards that were raised, that were taught to me by my family. Yep. You know, this is my claim. Like, let, let me, let me raise my tribe the way I want to raise them, and don't shove shit down the throat. Isn't and tell that them. what America was built on? Yeah, hundred percent. That's exactly what America was built on. Uh, you know. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Um, one of my biggest things is my parents would always tell me when I was growing up is don't put your sex on front street. Your body's your temple. So whenever yeah. whenever I'm out or something, I, you're not going to catch me macking on my girl. I'm not going to be making yeah. out with her. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to have I'm some sticking my, my hand all the way down her ass cracking. Well, it depends on where you're at. Yeah, Kroger. <laughs> Kroger. Walmart. God damn. <laughs> I'm talking to the wrong yeah, one. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, yeah. uh, but not in front of kids. But, like my kids. Like my kid, you know. Yeah. 
Look, I, I raise my always, I raise my kids for them to see how you're supposed to treat a woman fully and love them, respect yeah. them, you know. No, PDA them. is a must. PDA yeah. is a must. But um. But I don't know what you mean though. Yes. So like, I don't want to walk up and you guys are fucking in the Kroger parking lot. Yeah. You know, I'll be like, bro, at least tint your windows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If that's cool, tint them. Right? Yeah. You know, if you got a roll, do it. You know. Same way with life. Like, I don't care what you do, just tint life. your windows. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that. that's nice. That's where I was going. I don't with. care what you do with your life. I don't give a fuck windows. what you're doing, dude. Just tint your windows. Except for the kids' portion. Yeah. If you're doing that, you need that. Yeah. But other than that, whatever you're doing, dude, if you want to go fucking blow Bob, do yeah. it. Yeah. Fucking Bob probably wants to get blown. Yeah. Tint his fucking windows. Go buy his window tint. Yeah. You know, I don't give a fuck. But. Don't trip on me, because I'm going to always tip my windows. Yep. And don't ever come look inside my shit, because you'll get shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's my biggest thing. Yeah, yeah these the, windows are tinted. Don't, don't fucking don't knock them. Don't try to look in them. Don't try yeah, to look yeah. in them. You see why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a story. Look. So, Arco Arena with the Sacramento Kings play, uh-huh. back in the day, me and my uh, buddy, uh, you know who Keek the Sneak is? Tell me when they go. Yeah. Tell me when they, his cousin. Yeah. His name is Mike. And he, uh, he's a black dude. He's He's... He's a little tall, but he's like the most scariest dude you ever run across. Yeah. But he's hood as fuck, but scared of everything. Like oh, yeah. a chihuahua barks at him. He's like, oh shit, bro, get that thing. So we, <laughs> we pull up to Arco, and the gang's real bad with Thomas. So we pull up, I'm just getting gas. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna hop back in, we're gonna start. So Mike's like, look, I'm gonna go see if they need some blood. Cause you know, we just broke down like two ounces. Mind you, we're 16, two ounces was a big lick. Yeah. So <laughs> we just broke it down. You know, we got a six eighths over here. Three yeah. And this. So we just busted it down. We got a little ziplock. We feel to go bust it back down into our city and go knock them. So we pull up, we see this old 92 prelude. Yeah. Sitting in there, they ain't getting gas, they ain't doing nothing. They just sitting there chilling, all tinted windows. They blacked out. And we start walking in. Mike's like, hey, I'm gonna go see if we thing. I'm like, no, 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 we straight, bro. We in the Thomas, bro. Come on. He like, no, I'll do this straight. So I said, bro, I'm getting gas. So I start walking up, and I'm walking up hella slow. Right? Yeah. Mind you, I don't have a gun. He don't have a gun. Yeah. We both 16. Yeah. Like, we tripping. We over here in the Thomas. We just came over here because we know Kick the Sneak. He got he got the plug, so and that's his cousin. So we went up here by a couple zones. Yeah. Waited up. We trying to go bust back. So he starts walking up to the car. They cracked the window this much. And I was like, nah, bro. Hey, Mike, come on. And I'm like, the one time you don't get scared. Yeah. You're scared of everything. Yeah. And it's the one time you don't get scared. You know what I'm saying? You see boys in the hood, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. Have you ever seen a movie? Yeah. You know, so so next thing I know, Mike's like, man, fuck that, homie. And I was like, ah. Oh. And then it goes a little bit more. And then that, here that pistol comes out. Right? Right when I seen that pistol come out, Mike took off. So you know how they have the little quarter machines where you put the quarters in and you pull it down to the newspapers? Yep. Right? So I duck right in between because they start firing. Ba, 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 ba. Start dumping on Mike. So I dip in between the little soda machines I'm, or the little newspaper machines. I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. Fuck, fuck. Well, they skirt out and I hear Mike screaming. Right? Uh, they shot him in his ass with a 22. Yeah. Right? I didn't know this at the time. I thought there was just like nine rounds went off. Yeah. No. They shot him once in his ass, and then shot the rest into the ceiling above. Right? Oh shit! Yeah, they were fucking with him. Yeah. Right. They got him in his ass. But if you let him tell it, he got shot in the leg with a forty-five. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, Cracked his femur. <laughs> oh, it was bad. Oh, it was, it was bad. So like, I fuck with him to this day. Like six years later, right? I'm like, what's up, Mike? He's like, oh, bro, remember, man? You know, I got shot, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I still got lead in me. Bro, I can't move like that. I'm like, bro, I was at the hospital with you. Yeah. It was like 22. You got shot in the ass. They said, thank God it's all fine. Yeah. Like, nothing happened. Bro, we, you walked out. They didn't put you in a wheelchair. Yeah. They didn't even wheelchair you. They <laughs> skimmed his ass. <laughs> that shit was funny as hell. I don't know why I thought of that. <laughs> well, because we were talking about don't don't, mm-hmm. look in, don't look at my tents. Don't look at my tents, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're tender for a reason. They're tender for a reason. On Get my privacy. Hell yeah. Well, motherfucker, it was good. Seeing you, man. Yeah, it's man. good Congrats. rapping with you. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, let's you do this again, too. We have to do this again. Hell yeah. Let's make this a thing. Yeah, it's most a definitely. series of these. I'm fucking with it, dude. We can do yeah, a thousand. I didn't, we didn't, we didn't even talk about enough stuff. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. It doesn't seem like you're <laughs> enough. I'm like, bro, I got a thousand things to say. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. But yeah, man, it was definitely good seeing you. It was definitely good having y'all. We're going to have a bomb-ass fucking show. We're going to finish off this bottle of Casamigos, too, and you're going to fucking... Let's do it. We'll go pull out the rolls. It. We're going to autograph it, and you're going to sell it and fucking donate it to something. Cool. You're damn right. You hear that? We're going to do it. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, mother truckers. We out.